don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification okay guys how are you doing i hope you're doing well welcome to our youtube channel this is our second video in matrix classification tutorial series in machine learning in previous tutorial we covered the, the introduction of project about project where we talked about what's the main issue of the project i mean what is project about we talked about what are the skills you need to carry on doing this project what are the requirements so in requirements i mentioned in the previous tutorial you needed to install jupyter notebook i mean you will install anaconda then uh, jupyter notebook with the package found in anaconda also we had a simple demo in this second video we are going to have a uh, just a few operations on jupyter notebook and i have chosen to do this because uh jupyter notebook on jupyter notebook we can clearly view our data set which include rows and the columns right so in a desktop create a folder named ai artificial intelligence then after you will need to create another folder named as text classification so all my jupyter notebook codes are present in folder named as text classification and this is my first jupyter notebook so create a jupyter notebook named as mat text classification then after this is the data set headlines.csv uh, i'll put a video link below my video description so that you will be able to download the source code and the, the data set so this is my jupyter notebook so here we begin by importing necessary libraries then after we load our data set so here i put comment that loading data set so we needed to import in necessary libraries and all what we need is we need the pandas so as we can import our data set so import pandas as pd from pandas import read underscore csv yes so we are using pandas to load our data set then after we need to specify the file name file name our file name is headlines.csv then after data is equal to read underscore csv then we pass the file name after that we need to display first five rows of our data set so data.head will display first five rows <coughs> so import pandas as pd so as i've said that data.head will print or will show the first five rows of our data set so this is your data set it have url publisher category and so on so after this print our first five rows we can need to dig out to dig in our data set so as we can have uh, more information i mean so that we can know our data set so here we can have 
data dot d types to check the data types of each columns so int only id has in has data type of integer others have object and the timestamp is is float so that's it also we can need to know the 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 numbers of rows and the columns so data dot data dot shape to see rows and the columns so there are these rows so many and the eight columns so after knowing uh, the data types of our columns knowing our shape we may need to know how many rows have null value how many rows have n a not a null value so data dot is null dot sum now you can see id title url only publish have two missing values but in don't worry about publisher column because in our work through of our project we are going to use title and the category but for the case you want to use category you want to use a publisher in your project you need to drop out the missing varies right so that's the that is an a okay after checking the null values we may need to know how how many du duplicates how many rows duplicates so data dot duplicated duplicated dot sum to check how many data are duplicated so here you can see zero rows are duplicated right after that um, what we can do in a uh, our last cell is let me do something like this data i want to filter i want to show only title title and uh, title and the uh, category so let me copy this title then category okay category hope something like this then df dot heady so as i told you before that we have no need to drop out the missing values in quorum publisher because in our project we'll deal with title and the category so actually this is an end of our video number two where we have done some few operations which have helped us to know more about our data set we have checked if we have missing values we have checked if we have duplicated values we have checked the data types of our data we have checked we have checked the size which is the rows and the column of our data set and uh, yes and so on so this is an end of our second video in multi class text classification in machine learning in next video we'll deal with 
jungle right as i told you before that this project is uh, for a beginner in jungle so in the next video we'll have a few explanation of jungle uh, jungle project we want to start jungle from the beginning we'll use a templates i have already made but we'll add some more source code for processing the inputs and the making prediction actually that is an end of our tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to like put comment share and subscribe for the next video update thank you and see you in the next tutorials goodbye don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications